Hi, everybody. We're back. And uh, I'm Keith McGuire. Mark's uh, on the other end of the uh, universe uh, watching in. And we are going to uh, continue on a Road Less Traveled. Uh, we're going to do the lower half uh, and then uh, possibly finish up with a, uh, a finish up video. How's that? But this this uh, section we're going to do uh, all, the field, the grass, the fence posts, uh, and and the road, and we'll leave the barn and some some touching up for the very final one. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, and real quick, guys, if you haven't already, uh, there is a black and white line drawing version of this painting, so you can follow along. Uh, link for that in the descriptions, as well as uh, links to all the different materials Keith uses and other videos. So go watch part, go get the print, print it out, trace it onto some good watercolor paper. Go make sure you watch part one and then come back and join us for this one. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, Lots of words. You are, uh, you are, as always, uh, envision. No, is that the word? Nah, I'll let that go. Right. Words are hard. Just draw. Work of art. You're a work of art. Is that what you said? All right. Sure. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to wet. Uh, I'm going to use a bigger brush because what the heck. We don't have to spend three, five hours doing this. So I'm uh, I'm going to be doing the, uh, the grasses first. The... I'm going to leave the road alone for later, but I do want to kind of get this side of the, uh, of the fence line here started. So I'm just dragging that water up kind of right up to those fence posts. But not going over the fence posts. Well, if you hit the bottoms a little bit, it ain't going to matter because there's going to be grass kind of growing up around them. So we're okay there. Um, but yeah, don't don't go too high up, especially as you get farther back. Then you would have a genuine uh, weed problem, I would say. All right, all right. So I got to I am going to use. I'm going to use a uh, sap green. Uh, to get started, but I did want to try, if it's in here, no, I did want to try to add another green to this, just to kind of make it a really happy, friendly, uh, yeah, there we go, kind of a happy, friendly green, nice summer pasture green kind of thing. Sorry, I'm going to... <laughs> grab my paint so it's kind of like a green gold that i'm adding to the sap green which is kind of yellowing it up quite a bit and making it a little happier a little brighter green and everything's dry <laughs> all right not everything i'm just going to go ahead and start applying this over the wet areas now, are you trying to go for full coverage, or are you doing, like, splotchy like the sky? No, nah, we're going pretty much full coverage. Um, I will be adding other colors on top. So, yeah, don't, you know, don't worry about uh, leaving space for something else, or, or you're being careful, you want to leave some white. Nah, let's go for it. All right, so that wasn't so hard according to me. So this is kind of like a two lane kind of dirt with grass in the middle road. Still used, but not, not that much. Coming around this corner. That's why it's the road less traveled and not the road never traveled. Yes. Or the, or the weeds would be a lot deeper. I would imagine. All right, cool. All right. Then I like to not have quite so straight edges just because it's grass, you know. So I like to kind of go in and just break up the edges a little bit so you're not painting a smooth, straight line like 
in here. So I'll just come in and I just touch it a little bit. There. All right, now I'm going to come up on this side and it's dry. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and re-wet this. Got a little tint of water or color in there so you can kind of see. Now this kind of goes up a ridge a little bit or a little bit of a hill. So I'm going to try to make that look like uh, a bit of a rise. Uh, next to the next to the roadway here okay so a little more sap i'm just gonna grab this off and a little more of that green gold it was funny like uh, a friend of mine <laughs> uh, this is schminky's uh, green gold uh, it was on sale at a shop I went and visited uh, with a friend of mine, and it was like half off. I guess they weren't selling them. And it ended up being one of my favorite colors to work with. My friend bought it for me as a gift, and I'm like, uh, thank you. So I started using it with other greens. It really helps other greens kind of come alive. I'm not a big fan of green. Let's, not true. I'm, I'm not a big fan of the colors they have as green. I don't know how to say that, you know, <laughs> cascade green, sap green. It's like I hate all of them. But if you mix them, you'd be surprised. You can come up with some really great stuff. But it all depends on your paints. Um, if you're using Schminky or if you're using Daniel Smith, I use both. Um, but if you're using something else, you've got to experiment with your stuff, you know. You've got to put the colors together and see if they work and, and work for, for you. All right. So. And now that you found one that you like, you'll never get it again because it's out of Well, production. no, no, no. No, it wasn't. That was just one store in New York, uh, as a matter of fact. We were just visiting there. And uh, I, I, I'd heard about this store online, so I just wanted to go see it. It was very cool, though. Because it, it's like one of those genuine art stores of the olden days where they had everything. And, and you didn't you know, let me know so I could have sent you some money to pick me up some stuff. Oh, hey, I was kind of surprised when I got there. So I'll tell you what. when I, Oh, we're not going back there. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, the reason we were going there, uh, she's moved to Houston now. So uh, my friend's uh, daughter. Uh, she was off to become a doctor. So, yeah, now uh, we got to go to Houston for our art supplies. So, yeah, I yeah, got friends not... in Houston. I don't need you for that trip. Yeah. Uh, on the painting to the up above and a little bit to the left of the barn, it looks like a little bit of green spilled on the sky. Yes. You want me to show you how to get rid of that? Yeah, just because, you it's know, annoying. stuff happens and I don't want to forget about it. Yeah. All right. So, uh, we mentioned this before. Uh, Mr. Clean makes a, what do you call it, a scratch pad? Uh, there's a name for it, but. Uh, They're erasers, but it's the yes. Mr. Clean magic erasers. Magic erasers, exactly. And uh, uh, watercolor has found out if, on good paper, if you use it on like uh, arches and stuff, you can you can lift watercolors. It's uh it's absolutely wonderful because before you could only <laughs> cover it up or change it. You never got the opportunity to just, you know, fix it, you know? So these, they work very well. You can get, it's just melanin, right? Yes. So it's well, just the Mr. Clean ones aren't just melamine, but you can just get melamine foam mm -hmm. that does the same thing. And it's actually cheaper if you go with the, the straight foam melamine foam variety yeah mr clean ones have a little bit of uh chemicals and sometimes another type of foam mixed in yeah i didn't know that uh -huh. i the other thing is i use the cheap ones that you get you know like the dollar store version uh they work pretty good and they don't have anything extra or fancy in them um but um as you can see 
I took out most of it. There's it seems to have been a, like a staining color. So very faintly, there's a little bit, but I could probably put a little more color blue over that and you wouldn't see it at all. But I think it's come pretty clean. Um, so, the, you know, all I do is cut them up in little pieces so that I can use them where I need them. Um, except when I'm doing a really bad job, then I use the whole thing, right? Anyway, I am about to trying to get this I'm trying to see it's still a little wet up there but what I wanted to do was kind of give it the feeling of it kind of coming downhill so I'm going to add uh, a little bit of a darker green there and I'm just going to kind of it's still wet so as you can see I'm just kind of pushing the a few fine lines in there have it coming look like it's coming down all of a sudden it's a hilly little lump right that's amazing oh so impressed <laughs> and you can also add you know a little different color you know just to vary it up maybe a little bit let's see if i can going to throw a little bit of orangey yellow in there so yeah just a uh, oh, I also like went with a more bluey grass little uh, little Kentucky bluegrass ah uh, that's it I'm much more used to poopy dead grass so all right so as you can see it didn't take much and it does look like it's kind of you know tipping down the hill a little bit all right so um what i'm going to do now is you got to be a little bit careful okay um you can't don't paint your fence posts the nice thing is the back fence posts are sit you know are sitting up so we're not going to have any problem there but when you get down here you just want to be careful uh when you put your grass in that you know you leave your fence post so i'm just going to do these in here real quick oh no i'm painting the fence posts instead of no nah, just kidding uh question yeah because you're gonna do the fence posts if i remember correctly in the last video like a uh like a grayish color yeah or were they yes okay. now the far back ones i'm just gonna leave white okay because they'll just stand out a little bit more it looks like they're in the sun you know so i don't think i have to deepen their color but the front row coming across here yes definitely i'm gonna fence post them up real good so i'm gonna make them gray i'm gonna probably give them a little you know dead wood look the closer ones and I'll get a little shadow on them. All right. So now I think I'm far enough along. that I can get my big brush out and just uh, fill in the rest of this color. Bigger brush. Eh. We're gonna go with bigger brush, not huge. And also to make it easier, I didn't think about it. I also wanna kind of wet it. So that's what I'm doing. That way the paint will flow easily and it'll look good, hopefully. You don't have a lot of streaks, unless you want them, you know. And sometimes you do if you're doing grass or fields kind of thing. Oops. Nice. You had one job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. 
working on it. Pretty sure I can get some gray over that. How's that? We shall see. But I don't want it to be all one even value. I want it to be a little bit splotchy. Fields are never... Well, maybe maybe lawn grass. Did you ever see those? Fields of lawn grass um, that they farm, and then they no. cut it and roll them up, you know, and take them to job sites um, for new houses and stuff. Unbelievable. It's like they're quietly cutting a, a, a football field, you know, and... Uh, Bite-sized chunks that you can manage. No, I think there was. I mean, uh, I knew they had to do it somewhere, but I've never gotten to see the yeah, and they do the it actual in spot. They do it in Michigan and the beautiful Caribbean, where we are now, drinking mm. mai tais and uh, right, yummy, yummy. Oh no, the south of France. Yeah, that's where we are. Now See this beautiful, warm sunlight coming in through my window. Exactly. Yes, your uh, palatial um, um, studio. Mm -hmm. If I opened the window, you'd hear the sound of the ocean. <laughs> Is that what you're calling it? <laughs> or the neighbor's toilet, whichever's closer. Yeah. I bet you the neighbor's toilet is. Um, all right, so I kind of got that laid out. A little darker on this end, a little lighter back here. I'll probably drag some color through that to make it look not quite so um, fluffy, you know, and pretty. So I think what I want to attempt right now, while this is kind of drying up a little bit, is I'm just going to start on the road. I'm going to use uh, a little uh, uh, it's here somewhere indigo and a little bit of burnt sienna wherever I hit ah here we go so that's a little brown I'm I'm going to kind of gray it up a little more yeah close closer okay. One of the things I do kind of makes things sometimes a little interesting is you don't just blend it into one color. You kind of leave it like this where you have, you can almost suck up like two colors at once and uh, drag it along. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be kind of dragging this brush. Let's see if I can do it. All right. Sorry. We're all falling off the earth now. So... What I'm trying to do is just kind of drag my brush across and I'm not trying to hit everything. So you'll see there's little bits of white that, you know, didn't get painted. And I want that because I want that kind of feel of uh, that kind of white gravelly highway. And I'll go back in and I'll add a little water to this. What that does is those little white things will actually harden a little bit. Sorry. The lines will harden a little bit is what I'm saying. So that you get a little bit of texture in your, in your road. Now, I didn't quite get exactly what I wanted. I'm going to try again. Oh. Yeah. You see how I let it kind of skip and drag. You don't. I found this on the web. Oh, something went on. Oh, huh? Siri decided to talk to me. Oh, fun. Somebody That's... should. Yeah. That's scary. Why would it? Never mind. I don't want to know. When you said skipping along, you probably heard Siri along. Ah, Siri, alarm, run. Save me, Siri. Dialing 911. Yeah. 
That would be my no, luck. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You know what I have here today that I didn't have uh, yesterday? I have company. Oh, you guess? Just one. Cockroaches was, don't count. No, no, no. He was lonely, so we went and went and head, and I said I'd watch him. Hey, Levi. Levi. What are you doing? Come here. All right, look, look, look. Get up here. Dog. Oh. Dog. Dog. There you go. Anyway, he's pretty good. All right, here, here. Take this. Jeez. Oh, yeah, now he likes me. That's how I get I him know. to like me. From our perspective, it looks like you gave him one of your paintbrushes to chew on. No, he's uh, eating a fine uh, uh, cheddar at this as we speak. Here, one more. All right, get lost. I'm just trying to get the uh, the dog boat. So, anyway, he's pretty good. And usually, will sit on my lap, but I think he knew I was trying to, you know, uh, exploit him. Mm-hmm. So now I'm just putting a little finer lines in here. I hate that you see my whole arm. Here, this is better. And I'm just kind of dragging them across to kind of break up the, the soil a little bit. And then just going to soften this a little bit. So I put the lines and then I kind of Moisten it a little bit. All right. And then. All right. So I don't want to do too much more with that until I get some of this grass in. So at this point, I have to um, start kind of filling in a little bit, giving the field a little bit of, you know, a little bit of texture, some blowing grasses. So I'm just going to do a little bit of, drag a little bit of lines, a little bit of color in. I think i got to add a little more paint to it. Oh, now you make noise. You can kind of see, you know, because grass, you know, like I said, it's not a, it's not a lawn, it's a field. So you kind of want to get that feeling of that there's, you know, little kind of lumps and bumps in it a little. And that's what I'm doing right now. It's just kind of breaking up the field with some shadow and light. And the other thing is I'm going to add um, I'm going to add a little bit of that orange again just uh, so it ain't all one color. How's that showing up? Yeah, it's showing yeah, up. Okay. It. Sometimes they get working. I don't look at the I don't look at the screen and I'm like, oh, what the heck? What have I been doing? We've been asking ourselves the same question. Yeah, yeah. Just understand that it doesn't always look quite the same on on the camera. That's my excuse. I'm sticking with it. Yep. You have to see it in person this Thursday <laughs> night at the local coffee house. Oh, do we have one? Uh, yeah. Coffee houses. Yeah, I guess I do. All right, I kind of like that. It's got a. I also like it. Almost feels like it's kind of going downhill too, which kind of matches up with over here. Mm -hmm. It kind of feels like it's going down the slope a little bit, right behind the tree line too, or the fence line. So, all right, now I'm gonna go ahead and kind of do that. No, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting in. 
some grasses around the fence posts. And I've never seen a fence post that's all been mowed down on a farm, if you know what I mean. They just kind of, grasses kind of die around it. Now, last time I did this, I, I thought I hit it a little heavy. So I'm going to try this a little bit softer. So I teach, uh, I do teach classes uh, locally here, and oftentimes they're my, um, uh, what would you call them, uh, victims. I get, I test out uh, paintings on them. So I have done this before. Um, so it's, I've got that, uh, uh, what do you call it, the uh, Bob Ross technique where he would paint them twice. Yep. Now you just ruin the illusion for everybody. No, 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 no. It's just, uh, I, I, it doesn't hurt to do something a couple times. <laughs> Come on, don't that sound good? Yeah, sure. Just like uh, piano and music. You have to, you know, you have to do it a little bit. But uh, yesterday was fun. I uh, I taught my regular class. Then I came and did a video with Mark. And then I had to drive off real quick after that and teach a friend's class that uh, her, 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 her mom had passed away. And uh, I said uh, I would love to go ahead and, and teach her class for her. And it was a blast. It, uh, I can see why she enjoys it. They're they're not too serious, but they have fun, you know, and and they try. That's the other thing I like about it. But they're not like, oh my god, I have to do this, you know. Was it a watercolor class or something? Oh, yeah, else? yeah, yeah. I don't do that anything else really. Maybe a drawing class I would do, but not not much anything else. But I did. I uh, I had a great time. They were. They were uh, a sprite, a sprightly bunch. But it was fun. I had uh, it was only her second class in the session. That's why she, you know, tried to find somebody so it wouldn't look, you know, so they'd be able to continue. And she had a lot of newbies that were pretty, pretty new. <laughs> You know what I mean? So I was happy they were catching on pretty quick. So so you taught them all your techniques, so anything that she teaches completely different and wrong and screws with their heads? It's kind of fun because we do teach differently, and she does paint differently than I do. So, uh, But I don't think it hurts to, you know, pick up a two or three different techniques if you can you know different teachers different different styles and stuff so she always supports me and i'm i'm there for her if she needs it oh how many of your classes has she taught <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah um let's think nope i'm uh, i i, I I don't, I don't get sick. Liar. Looking for excuses. All right. So I am just kind of a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, just dragging up some Little kind of drier, deader, twiggy thing looking things, grasses. I haven't actually done any drier, twiggy looking things. I, I will do that after we do the uh, uh, the fence posts so that I don't screw anything up. All right. So now I'm going to drag the the grass to the road here and hopefully 
and it looks like it's kind of going into the where the road stops or the gravel starts. You're just babbling now. Yeah. Alrighty. Now I'm gonna come up here and just add a little more value here. I heard a creak. Are you leaving? No. Just adjusting. So again, on this side, I'm kind of just kind of pulling the green up to the to the to the road there. Little streaks. Oh, am I in the way? All right, let me do this. Ah. Yeah, no, but it seems like you can you can watch my arm, or you can. Well, it's a very nice arm. Watch it sideways. I don't know. It's getting old. I think I'm getting liver spots. What's this I hear about liver spots? Oh, I thought it was a connect the dot game. I, no, I was trying to pass them off as freckles, but no one's buying it anymore, you know? No, it's, it's age. All right. If you notice, last time I, I had a long sleeve shirt on, I was literally that conscious of it. But I must accept. All right. So now you can kind of see the road starting to lay into the grass a little bit. I'm going to do the middle. Back here. It's just more about getting some value down. But as we get a little closer, sorry. Ah. I'm just gonna start kind of doing that little lines across there. And what I can do too is Maybe add a little bit of a little bit of brown to my green here. A little more brown. I just kind of want to start getting a maybe like a little shadow going along the edge there. So it kind of looks like the grass is kind of up over that gravel. All right, let's see how we do. Yeah. Kind of. Uh, yep, sorry. So I did a demo yesterday. Birch trees. I think we might have to do another birch tree video. Something with birch trees in it. I don't okay. know why all these people in the Caribbean enjoy birch trees as much as they do here. Because they don't see them, maybe? Yeah. Or even know they exist. All right. So, all right. So we got kind of a fairly green picture going right now. Um, so I like the field. Um, I'm not done with the uh, with the road yet. We still got some uh, major sprinkling to do. I'll, I'll 
I'll explain that. But what I'm going to do is I'm first going to kind of take down that, get some color on this. Uh, Okay, good. I just got to wait a little bit. I'll add a little more color to that. Meantime, I am going to start. I need indigo. And I'm going to try that. I'm going to try a little bit of uh, yellow ochre because it works so well with burnt. Uh, with uh, oh my god, it works great. I like the color. It's not so dark. Yeah. So just going to drag a little gray down here. If I don't hit every bit of it, it doesn't matter. So that's crusty molds and lichens. Like a werewolf? But yeah. Not <laughs> what are those guys? What? what, what? What's the term for a werewolf? Lycan? Lycan? No, lupin. Lupin. Lycanthropy. Or... What's it for a werewolf? Remember? Uh, we're not watching enough cartoons. Okay, cool. All right. So now I'm going to go back in. Yep, lichen. Like an author, like an author, uh, yeah, yeah, it's the right word. I'm just not sure which is the proper pronunciation. Well, we're not having werewolves in this one, I don't care what you say. Man, you never draw anything fun. I know, but look, next month is Halloween, so I'm thinking maybe some fun. Actually, we should do some funny little, uh, maybe like a little haunted house or something. I'm sure that's Disney, not a bad idea. Disney's like, that's our term. Haunted hey. house? Yeah. Is that their new movie? I'm not familiar. Oh, they did another uh, Disney's Haunted House movie. Oh. Not the. It's got Danny DeVito, and I think they were pushing the ghosts a little more as characters this time as opposed to the. Uh, Oh, what was his name? Uh, Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah, that was uh, Haunted Mansion. Yeah. Oh, Mansion. Sorry. You're right. Okay. Yeah, anyway, with, Haunted uh, Mansion. Eddie Murphy. It was Eddie Murphy. I almost called him Axel Foley. <laughs> well, he did fall, fall off the planet for a little while. He's back, but wow. Yeah, he ran out of money, I think. I think he ran out of good movies. I think he was just doing anything he thought he could do. And it yeah. Really kind yeah, of I think, caught, caught I think he it. was making so much money off of the yeah. Nutty Professor and the Clumps and all those that he uh, did. He went, I don't have to do anything else for a while. He did a bunch of, bunch of poopy movies in there for a while. So I'm just kind of shadowing one side, getting them kind of crustied up a little bit. Arr. Now, is it going to be hard for the dandelion yellow weeds to show up on the green? Mm, not if I make them big enough. <laughs> well, if they're too big, they're sunflowers. <laughs> That's true. Giant dandelions on the road less traveled. 
be there. Docu series. That would be cool. Imagine if a sunflower did the little puffy white things when it died and they were just giant dandelions. Yeah. <laughs> Thunk. Yep. Yeah, it's like a Holy crap. It's dandelions. Baseball. Yeah. Look out. I know there is a big dandelion or something that's equivalent to a big dandelion. I don't know if it's actually in that family, but I've seen them and I mean, they're not baseballs, but they are pretty impressive. All right. So basically, I have kind of gotten to where I wanted to be, except for maybe. I want to see if I can get. I'm going to try again. I'm trying to get some gravelly texture. It's working a little. It's just got to figure out. Now, I've got barely any. Yeah, that's working. Um, any water in this at all. And I'm just scraping it along the page there just to try to get it to give me just a little. Wow. Little crusties. Gravel, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. All right. Well, do the other side. What the heck? Um, I am watching a clock. I'm sorry. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, you got what, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes top? Yeah. I got to get there before five. I'm, or what uh, happens? Uh, I don't get my, my worksheets from my kids tomorrow for my kids, uh, drawing classes. They're going to be doing, uh, reptiles and amphibians tomorrow. So it's gonna be fun. They hate it. <laughs> Why? Um, because, uh, some of them are hard and some just don't want to do hard, you know, and uh, I, I kind of, you know, they're, they're kids, you know, so I don't want to push it on them too hard. So I always have a, a ringer in there, a super easy one, you know, so. Get their, get their, uh, confidence up and then you hit them with the, yep, we're going to do a gecko look at all the bumps and scales and weird anatomy i think uh the gecko that i've got is pretty good uh the chameleon is a great one for kids to learn um the one that's uh i don't understand because i think they're cool are the tree frogs i've got a, a version of tree frogs too that really it's uh I love these. Yeah, I just I love painting animals. I like doing that, um, and I like teaching it to them, even when they don't want it. You know. So, sir, this is kind of where I wanted to be to stop, and then the last lesson will be we finish everything. So, can I call it quits here? You can call it whatever you like. It's your painting. All right, thank you. Guys, we're going to call it quits here, and uh, uh, next time we're going to finish it. Uh, and basically it's just going to be little details, uh, rusted uh, barbed wire fence, uh, finish the old barn in the back, um, and, and just a little more texture here and there. And we're going to make the trees pop a little bit more. We're going to get a little more vibrancy. As you get more, it's kind of funny, as you get more paint on the picture, you get more art, you know, finishing it up, you do have to kind of go back and and kind of punch up some of the background. My hill, I'm pointing to the screen, I'm sorry. Uh, my hill back here kind of disappeared. I want that to kind of, we want to see a continuation. It's just little things. And unfortunately, there's a lot of them. But when you're done, it just really pops, okay? So, uh, Mark, anything else? Nope. Just check the description, guys, of the video. There is a bunch of links and different things that you can read at your own leisure and show a little support. So, appreciate it. All right, you guys. Uh, thank you very much. We'll, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.